Opinions and facts are two very different things. But, is there a way we can turn opinions into facts? Well, I have a theory. I woke up this morning with brown hair. This is true and therefore is a fact, as that's what facts are, something that is true. I will wake up tomorrow with brown hair. Well, that's not really a fact I feel. I mean, it's very, very likely to be true, but someone could still come into my room at night and shave all my hair off or dye it pink. Despite it being 99% likely that I will wake up with brown hair tomorrow, it's not 100% likely, so it's therefore not true and therefore not a fact in my opinion. I feel the only things we can consider 100% fact are things that have already happened in the past. This whole what is a fact thing is a whole other realm of philosophy I don't really want to get into. With this idea that facts can only be things that happened in the past, I'm sure you can imagine that facts very rarely change. But can they be changed? Well I think they can with law. Law in my eyes can be defined in four words, opinions turned into facts. Well, to expand on that idea, a law is when enough people harbour the same opinion that they have the power to turn it into fact. Here's an example. All big supermarkets in the UK have to close at 4pm on Sundays. This is due to a law we have in the UK called the Sunday Trading Law that was created in 1994 that forbades any big supermarket to open after 4pm on a Sunday. Is forbades a word? I think forbades a word. This law was created because enough people harboured the opinion that supermarkets should be able to open until 4 on a Sunday, as opposed to what it was before, not being able to open at all. And of course, this ideology of turning opinions into fact via law can be applied to much more serious topics than just when supermarkets should be opened. Here's another fact. Up until 1967, homosexuality in the UK was a criminal offence. It was illegal to be gay. Just let that sink in for a moment. Thankfully, saying in the year 2015 homosexuality in the UK is a criminal offence is not a fact. What made this fact change? Opinion. Up until 1967, enough people held the opinion that homosexuality was a bad thing and therefore should be a criminal offence. So it was. But, by the time 1967 hit, not enough people held the opinion that homosexuality was bad. Well, not enough of the right people anyway. So the act of being homosexual was no longer illegal. This is how important it is to have an opinion. If enough people share an opinion, it can change the world. But don't just sit on your opinions, challenge them. Allow your mind to take on other people's opinions. They are like water free-flowing and can shift in size and volume to fit any need. Just don't let your opinions freeze and become unmovable chunks of ice. I think that metaphor makes sense. Well, that's what I think anyway. That's not all from me guys. This video is part of something I'm calling the opinions double feature. It's kind of like how Pokemon games come out in two different versions which is slightly different but both work as their own independent things. But less squirtles and less gym badges. Perhaps a better analogy would be saying it's like two videos that cover different areas of the same topic but also work well as their own videos. The other video is my opinion on opinions. Do I love opinions? Do I hate opinions? Have I said the word opinions too much? Yes. Yes I have. If you really want to know my opinion on opinions then you have to click at the end of this video to find out. But Back to this video though. Do you think my idea of how we can change facts of our opinions is good? Do you think it's changing facts at all or just making certain facts non-existent? What are some other ways we can change facts? Leave your answers and comments and just about anything else you have to say about this video down below. This channel is just as much yours as it is mine. And of course if you liked the video then leave it a like. And if you want to see more from me and my face and all my opinions and all my weird videos that I don't think are the worst thing on the internet, that's the only thing I can promise you about them, then subscribe. Hopefully internaut, you'll be sticking around for the second feature. But if not, then always remember to stay open. Thank you.